welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd bring you another empties video. It's been quite a long time since I filmed the last one and I have got so many empties that have built up over time. I've actually been meaning to film this video for ages now so bear with me while I go through this huge box if I can carry it and show you and talk you through these products one by one there's quite a lot of variety in this box as well so yeah bear with me and i will go through them all in no particular order as per usual so first off i can see two of these this one needs no introduction whatsoever this is the boots own brand um, boots essentials curl cream i use this in my hair all the time it's literally the only thing that works for me it's in all of my empties i've worn this since i was about 15 years old and i absolutely love it in fact there's actually two of these in here so let me get them out of the way so i can go through like the oh gosh through the more important bits with you guys so yeah boring bits out of the way that's two of my hair products that i swear by so i've also finished this head and shoulders two-in-one itchy scalp it's like a shampoo and conditioner two-in-one i don't actually oh god this is so grimy i don't actually like this shampoo i have a really sensitive scalp and i'm always trying out new sort of calming shampoos for it i did find one that i liked the userin one but it's really really pricey and i personally don't like like sulfate free shampoos ones that don't lather up because i feel like it's not doing much so i tried this this one does lather up but I just feel like head and shoulders is really bad for you because I always hear people say that it strips the top layer of your skin um, and so it's obviously not good for you. I think because this is quite a big bottle and I went through it all, my scalp got accustomed to it so this again doesn't work for me anymore. Um, it was fine at the time but I wouldn't really repurchase this, I've moved on to something else now. So yeah, I wouldn't really recommend head and shoulders, I just wanted to give it a go because I heard a few people saying good things about that and I think I bought them on three for two because I'm pretty sure I had a bottle in my like last empties video too. The next thing I finished was a deodorant. This is my favourite one at the moment. I'm not that like fussy or loyal to any like deodorant brands but um, at the moment I've just been using this one. It's the Shaw Invisible Pure Motion Scents Anti-White Marks Yellow Stains and Sweat and I feel like it just does everything it's supposed to do i'm really happy with it there's not really a lot else i can say about a deodorant but yeah it's great <laughs> i also finished finally finished this sephora waterproof eye makeup remover i have mixed feelings about this like yes it was great because it did remove my makeup but i personally don't like the oily type eye makeup removers that you get like this one it reminds me of the um pretty sure it's the long con one that i haven't used for years but it's like a duo phase that you sort of shake up and then it leaves like a bit of an oily residue and that obviously that oil is what removes your makeup so it did work it was great but i just don't like that oily feeling on my skin especially because i have really sensitive eyes and if i put too much on a cotton wool pad it does tend to get into my eyes so yeah it was great we obviously i can't purchase this in the uk anyway if i was to go to the us i probably wouldn't repurchase it because I'm quite happy with just using like my cellar water. I just wanted to give this a go and I bought it absolutely ages ago because I saw so many bloggers raving about it. And yeah, I mean, it's good. I've tried it. I'm happy that I've tried it, but you know, it wasn't groundbreaking stuff. God, I've got loads of foundations in here actually, which is very exciting. Some of the stuff in this box is so sticky. I finished an original source shower gel. I normally always buy the same shower gel and so I don't always include it in here. Obviously I finished more than one um, in this space of time but this one was different. It's the hydrating water infusions pineapple and lemon zest. Um, mm, yeah I didn't think I'd like this because of the pineapple. I don't really like fruity shower gels. I kind of prefer the citrusy ones even though they're fruity but i feel like they're kind of doing something but with the lemon zest which was really nice i have to say i didn't find it any more moisturizing than their regular original source shower gels maybe i didn't like use it for long enough because obviously i travel out of a suitcase quite a lot i'm here like i'm at home one week off for two weeks you know i'm away here there and everywhere so i chop and change a lot maybe if i was just at home consistently for like a month and use this every single day i might have noticed a difference but i have to say 
it was just it was a good shower gel i love original sauce it's cheap as chips it does the job smells really nice and so yeah i have no complaints about this one and i probably would repurchase it so i always tend to buy original sauce shower gels whenever they're on offer anyway like in supermarkets or sometimes in boots and i think that was probably about a pound which is why i picked it up i'm not that fussed about any products that kind of go on me from the neck down as caroline hiron says i like to spend my money on this part <laughs> not really on the hair either <laughs> but speaking of body products actually i finished oh it's another body wash okay i was gifted these sheer moisture um body wash and body lotion i've almost finished the body cream but not quite i actually quite liked oh god this is really sticky Ugh bit grimy sorry this is the raw share butter hydrating body wash with frankincense and myrrh and it's for dry skin i really really liked this it smelled really nice it was very different to my usual original source which is a bit more it's not gritty but it's a different texture and so it kind of feels like you're working it into the skin it's like getting rid of the grimy stuff whereas this just feels quite like a nice body wash something that you just use like for a bit of luxury and it was good for dry skin like i said i've been using the body moisturizer alongside it and that's also great um i like the scent of this one because i have two of the body moisturizer in a different scent which you'll probably see in the next video and i'm not keen on the other scent whatsoever so yeah this is a really good one and um, i don't know how much it retails for because like i said it was gifted to me but i would probably repurchase this so yeah it was great all around i've had this glossier milky jelly cleanser for the longest time i remember when glossier was just like huge big thing everyone was raving about it everyone was showing their discount codes and people were going crazy for it and i finished my first one i think i finished my second one this is probably my third one and i really really like this as a cleanser in the morning it's really like light and easy to use it's really gentle and um, so it's perfect for the mornings i don't like using it in the evenings because it just doesn't do anything for makeup removal i feel like i need something with a bit more oomph in the evening so because i just used to use it in the mornings and not every day because i'm kind of lazy it took me quite a long time to get through this and also because i'm hardly ever at home so whenever i am at home and i do cleanse my face in the mornings that's when i used it so yeah i would repurchase this i think i have the travel mini that i still haven't even opened yet i think it's quite a nice cleanser not like it's not I don't think I'm as obsessed with it as I was when I first purchased it because when I first got it I was like oh my god this is amazing absolutely love it but yeah it's nice and it's definitely something that I think I would repurchase um possibly if there was like a discount code um I change my cleansers up all the time so I get scent stuff I buy new things and I just feel like Glossier really isn't the it brand anymore it's kind of just disappeared so maybe if they bring out something new i'd be inclined to try that but yeah it is a nice cleanser if you're looking for something just as a facial wash in the mornings it doesn't strip your skin or leave it feeling too tight which is quite nice oh i have finished three foundations wow oh yeah okay i haven't actually finished three foundations but i have three foundations here two are exactly the same it's the mac studio fix fluid in nc42 these definitely aren't finished but i was obsessed like this was like the only foundation i ever wore for years and years and years i absolutely loved it but as soon as i hit 30 my skin just completely changed and everything that worked for me in my 20s no longer works for me in my 30s and i think it was a combination of that and the fact that i've heard rumors that mac changed the formula of these that these just oxidize on my skin so much i literally look like an oompa loompa and it just i think it breaks me out that's because they're quite old to be fair it breaks me out i look so orange it's just not a nice foundation whatsoever had you asked me this about five years ago i would have told you it's amazing it's the best nothing else compares but now i just can't stand it but these are not going to go in the bin these are going to be recycled i'll take them back to mac because once you have five or six empties um you can get a free lipstick and um, this one also has the pump by the way which i purchased separately but i'm just sending that back because i'm never gonna use that but yeah i have a blog post on my back to mac empties i think it's titled how to get a free mac lipstick so if you search for that on my blog you'll see exactly how many empties you need the next foundation i finished is this fenty beauty pro filter soft matte foundation it doesn't actually say that anywhere in the packaging but that is the name of it and i wear this in the shade 310 as you can see there's tiny bits of product 
still left in the sides but i don't really know how to get them out which is a bit annoying i couldn't really untwist this but i loved this foundation not usually a fan of matte foundations but i'm wearing it today it's full coverage but it doesn't feel cakey it doesn't look heavy it's a really nice one i think for all year round for me because i find that i like that little bit of soft matteness in the summer when things are getting a bit too shiny i really like this in the winter because it just makes me look like kind of flawless i just love this foundation already repurchased it i think i'm more than halfway through my second bottle and it's not like extortionate either which is what i love about it in fact you can now buy fenty beauty in boots and it's about 26 27 pounds for a bottle which is great so yeah that is definitely my top five foundations i have the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade caramel you guys have seen this in pretty much every single empties video i haven't used a nars concealer for ages because i've got so many others to get through that i bought when i went to toronto or new york last time but this is like the original holy grail concealer for me the perfect shade to match me i'm not so keen on the formula of it it can be quite drying these days i find but happy to deal with that for the shade because i struggle to find my perfect shade anywhere else so i really really like this and i will use up whichever backups i have left but when it comes to repurchasing i don't know i have a lot more choice now so i don't know that i would necessarily buy this again hmm, i don't know watch this space <laughs> you'd have seen me raving about this one if you watched my video like i think about five videos ago <laughs> this is my favorite face mask in the whole entire world this is a peter thomas roth pumpkin enzyme mask i absolutely love it i filmed a whole video reviewing this it does everything that you would want a face mask to do and more i'm just not keen on the scent of it it's pumpkin oh yeah oh god <clears throat> perfect for this time of year because it's autumnal it smells very much like a pumpkin spice latte in starbucks which by the way if you ask me is the worst drink ever invented it's disgusting but i don't care about the scent it this mask is just amazing like my skin glows for three days straight i will link my review up there or in the description box if you want to have like, a closer look at it but totally worth the price tag i've already repurchased this and until the day it stops working for my skin i will repurchase this forever and ever it's just amazing and if you guys haven't tried it you need to because oh i just love it so much next up i've got a few little bits so let me grab them all at the same time it's just a little bit easier i've got a few little bits here the nip and fab terracotta corrector i still use this all the time i've almost finished my second one i use it for color correcting under the eyes i used to swear by the bobby brown one this is exactly the same shade as deep peach and dark peach it works just as well for me i actually prefer the formula of this because it's liquid as opposed to that horrible pot that i'd have to stick my fingers in and it was quite a creamy finish the bobby brown one so it's quite hard to apply and it was a hard base for concealer to go on over the top of so i'd much prefer this hate the packaging absolutely hate this brush that it comes with but i mean it's cheap as chips you can often pick it up for like three for two so absolutely love it totally would repurchase it all the time in fact i have multiple times so that's a great product i have this teeny tiny little sample of la roche posay and Thelios XL SPF, it's SPF 50. I wear the full size version of this all the time. I had a few little samples, I think I had two that I packed when I went to Dublin because I was only going for two nights. I wanted to make the most of my samples obviously and finish them. So yeah, this is just a great SPF, one of my favorites out of all the ones I've tried and I highly recommend it. Two Glossier products here, the Boy Brow. Um, I don't think this is my first one I finished, it's like my second one. I wear this in the shade black. It doesn't say it anywhere, but yeah, definitely in the shade black or the darkest one they do because the next shade down is too pale for me. I love this brow gel. This will forever be my favorite brow gel. There's just something about this brush. The bristles on it really grip onto the hairs so nicely. They coat them evenly. Once you apply it, it's not too crispy. It's not too shiny. Your brow hairs just stay in place. It's, it's just amazing. I absolutely love this. The other Glossier product I finished is their Priming Moisturizer. Um, I don't know if you can see this because it's a bit 
bright but i really really like this moisturizer i love traveling with it because you know it's lightweight doesn't weigh anything it's portable it's easy to apply it was a great base for makeup application um i don't wear primer because I tend to find that my makeup just stays put. I'm one of these people where I never carry makeup with me in my handbag, which often comes as a surprise to most people. They're like, you don't carry any makeup apart from lipstick because I just find that my makeup stays put. I don't need to apply primer. I very rarely use setting spray unless I'm hot and sweaty or I'm going somewhere like super important or I don't know, just for the sake of it. I just find that most of my makeup stays put. I do have sensitive eyes, so my eyeliner is always smudged just because my eyes are watery. Um, apart from lipstick, I don't top anything up, but this was quite nice. I do feel like it had great sort of staying power it kind of helped my makeup stick to it a little bit better really really nice lightweight moisturizer and i i would actually repurchase this i kind of forgot about it just because i'm forever moving on to new things but i think the best part of it for me is actually the packaging because i just love minimal packaging for when i'm traveling and i feel like i probably could have got a bit more out of this but it's old now, so it's time to say goodbye to it. Another moisturiser that I finish is this Declior Hydrofloral uh, Fluid Hydrant Anti-Pollution SPF 30. Okay, I'm trying to read the French. Let me start again. <laughs> it's Declior Hydrofloral SPF 30 Anti-Pollution Hydrating Fluid with Neroli Essence Oil and Moringa Extract. I really, really liked this. In fact, I kind of broke my packaging when I was almost done with it and I found that I lost the little pumpy thing and like but there's so much more product in it than like what you would get if you just used the pump so this lasted me a very long time surprisingly because it's well it's 50 mil I suppose I really really like this for the summer it smells incredible it's so nice and lightweight I love that it has SPF 30 in it because as much as I love wearing a full face of makeup, quite often when I'm just at home popping out to do some errands, I'll just slap a bit of moisturiser on and just go. Especially in the summer, like, who can really be bothered to wear a full face of makeup if you're just popping to, like, the post office or the supermarket? So it was great that it had SPF 30 in it. I could just whack on one product and go. But more importantly, it was really hydrating. It just felt so nice and, like, luxurious on the skin. I love the scent of Neroli and... I think they do like loads of different ones with different like essential oil ones but I definitely repurchased the Neroli one if that's still available. In fact I don't think I've ever tried anything from Declior that I don't like, I just love their products. Such a great luxury brand. Next up I have this Image Skincare Illuma Intense Brightening Eye Cream. I was sent a couple of different types of eye cream and I have the moisturiser for this as well. I finished the eye cream first and I have to say, I really liked the pump aspect, that was great. I hate sticking my finger into pots. I didn't like that it hasn't got some sort of lid. So when I was traveling, I always felt like, what if something squashes down on this? And like, I've lost product, obviously, if it was full. I Again, I just feel like you can't really review an eye cream unless you use loads of them over a six month period or one year period and obviously i don't do that i can't do that i don't have enough product to do that or keep repurchasing the same one this claims to do a lot um it claims to brighten and illuminate the de delicate eye area helps to significantly reduce visible signs of aging around the eyes including puffiness dark circles wrinkles and lack skin again you'd have to use this for such a long time to notice any of the difference it was quite brightening as soon as I applied it. But in terms of everything else, I don't know. You just have to like, eye cream is such a tough one to review. If you like the formula of it and how it applies in the packaging, that's great, you're onto a good thing. But I personally don't think there's any product out there that will get rid of dark circles completely. So that's definitely something to bear in mind. I'm losing my voice here, but I promise I've only got three more things to go. Two are, oh, one's a sheet mask. I picked this up in TK Maxx for £2.50. Um, it's a Korean sheet mask. Let me try and get up close and show you. This was really, this was a really weird one. What brand is it even? Sugu, Sugu Beauty. It's a glowing skin sheet mask with egg white. Oh gosh, I did this in some hotel. It's in one of my vlogs. Um, Breadsall Priory, I think, when we went to this hotel in Derby. And 
actually, it was a really nice sheet mask in the end. But me personally, I'm a bit funny about eggs. And so I was like, oh, it's just going to like smell or feel like I'm like, I've cracked an egg on my face and I'm rubbing it in. It was a little bit gooey and slimy, but it wasn't really eggy from from what I remember. I left it on for far too long. In fact, I fell asleep with it on and my skin was actually really glowy the next day. I really liked it. I don't love sheet masks. I love doing them when I'm away as a bit of a treat or if I'm flying, my skin definitely needs that hydration. I don't always find they do much, to be honest. Some of the higher end brands do and the Korean ones are great, but they're not my favourite type of mask to do, you know? But this one was really good, actually. It was really good. It was a really good fit for my face, which doesn't often happen. It's, like, all over the place in my hair and stuff. And, yeah, um, it left my skin really glowy. So I would repurchase that if ever I sort of found it online or in TK Maxx again. The next one was actually Superdrug's own brand Nourishing Sock Pack Tea Tree and Peppermint. I really, really liked this. I picked this up on a three for two in Superdrug. I got all three like scents. There's a clay one, a tea tree and peppermint, and there's something else. I haven't used the other two yet. This was so nice in the summer. I remember we'd been out one day. We we're out the whole day, like walking around, and like it was a really, really hot day. And obviously wearing sandals because it's hot. And then we just came. I came home, had a shower, and I just put this on in the evening. It was just so nice and like cooling and i think i fell asleep in this as well because you can like why not and my skin was just so soft on my feet it was incredible i would definitely repurchase these i think they're like two pounds each which is a bargain i have two brow pencils i think i've spoken about the makeup revolution pro brow pencil before i have absolutely no idea what shade this is because it doesn't say it on the packaging and i've tried so many different ones it's a great brow pencil the product itself is great but it lasts like a week um it's not very good so yeah it's only four pounds you could argue and it has a spoolie on one end and a really fine pencil on the other but it lasts a week like what is the point in p purchasing something like every single week and if you go on holiday you never know when it's going to run out and that would just be my worst nightmare quite often i've done one brow and i go on to the second one and it's just finished and i'm just like how annoying is that so i've stopped repurchasing these and i found this one a really old nyx micro brow pencil in my collection so i used it up I'm currently I've currently repurchased this because I love it. I have this in the shade Espresso. Again, it comes with a spoolie and a really fine pencil nib, which you can't see. Love the shade of it. I have it on my brows and I've repurchased it loads of times. So this is such a great brow pencil. Yes, it's more expensive than the Revolution Pro one, but it lasts a lot longer, so you can't argue with that. And look, last thing. This has taken me ages to go through, actually. Probably just under two years this is the aromatherapy associate miniature bath and shower oil collection this was very very kindly gifted to me by aromatherapy associates when i won my beauty for women of color award back in 2017 and i do have a bathtub at home my bathroom isn't like very nice we haven't like done it up or anything and so i never have a bath at home i don't feel like it's a very relaxing place to, like sit in the bath you know so i always have a bath when i stay at my aunt's flat because her bathroom is gorgeous so as you can imagine i don't stay there all the time and how many baths am i gonna have if i'm you know when i'm there so it took me a very long time to get through all of these bath oils but they were all so incredible i couldn't tell you what my favorites were because you know i've been using these over the like a period of two years almost and i think jas used a couple of them too but i definitely love like the support breathe one i think that has like peppermint or something in it um i remember using that when i was ill and it just made me feel like so much better like i felt a bit bunged up because i had a cold there's deep relax light relax de-stress mind de-stress muscle revive morning revive evening support breathe support lavender and peppermint that's the one such a nice one to use before bedtime this box smells incredible too support equilibrium and inner strength and it's such a nice gift it's probably quite pricey to buy but it's such a great like gift to give somebody as well because they have a choice of all these different bath oils they really moisturize your skin as well when you're in the bath and i absolutely 
loved using these like in fact if ever i buy a house and have a really nice bathroom i would treat myself to this again just because it's just such a nice thing to have to hand and i absolutely loved using this i'm kind of sad that it's all finished now but that is it that is my empties i feel like this video has gone on for ages i know i always say this but i will try my hardest not to let my empties build up so much for my next video because i've been talking so long i feel like i'm losing my voice and I think it's just too much for you guys to watch in one video so i'm gonna keep the outro really short and sweet i really hope you enjoyed watching this video if you did then please give it a big thumbs up let me know what your favorite products are down below in the comments is there anything out of this lot that you tried would you repurchase it did you love it did you hate it just let me know down in the comments below but i really hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you very soon with a new video bye